What is mainframe? Big iron computer or mainframes are a one type of big computer that generally are known for their large size, processing power, high level of reliability, and storing huge amounts of data. IBM builds different types of mainframe computers. Today, a mainframe refers to IBM System Z servers. They are primarily used by large organizations, banks, telecoms, insurance companies, travel and retail sector etc. for mission critical applications requiring high volumes of data processing. Mainframes are designed to handle very high volume input and output (IO) and emphasize throughput computing. A single mainframe can replace dozens or even hundreds of smaller servers. They are typically utilized by governmental and corporate organizations for added security as well as processing large sums of data, such as consumer statistics, census data or electronic transactions. Their reliability and high stability allow these machines to run for a very long time, even decades. IBM mainframes are large computer systems produced by IBM since 1952. During the 1960s and 1970s, the term mainframe computer was almost synonymous with IBM products due to their market share. Current mainframes in IBM's line of business computers are developments of the basic design of the IBM system 360. What is distributed relational database architecture? And components? Distributed relational database architecture, DRDA, is a set of protocols that permits multiple database systems. Any combination of relational database management products that use DRDA can be connected to form a distributed database management system, which includes both IBM and not IBM systems, as well as application programs, to work together. DRDA components are Application Requester this is accepts SQL requests from applications and sends them to appropriate application servers for processing. It can access remote data using this function. Application Server This is receives requests from application requesters and processes them. It acts on the portions of requests that can be processed, and forwards remainder to database servers for further processing. Database Server this is receives requests from the application server and other database servers. This server also supports distributed requests and forwards parts of the request to the database server to fulfill the request. Explain IBM Z. IBM Z is a family name used by IBM for all of its mainframe computers. In July 2017, with another generation of products, the official family was changed to IBM Z from IBM Z Systems. The IBM Z family now includes the newest model of the IBM Z14, as well as the Z13, released under the IBM Z Systems IBM System Z names. The IBM Z Enterprise models, in common use the Z12 and Z196, the IBM System Z10 models, Data secured on IBM Z mainframes is locked down with 256 bits encryption, which is unbreakable with current technology. So, even if data is stolen, it's of no use to the attackers. The new mainframes are designed to be compliant with data privacy laws, and they go a step further. Knowing that no security system is perfect, IBM has stored the decryption keys tamper resistant. If the server detects a data breach, it invalidates all the keys until operators can investigate. What is ZOS? ZOS is a 64-bit operating system OS, developed by IBM for its family of Z, Architecture Enterprise mainframe computers, including the Z Enterprise 196 and Z Enterprise 114. Mainframes with ZOS are typically used to run large, complex, mission-critical workloads for large enterprise organizations. What is difference between static call and dynamic call? The difference between static and dynamic call is that the first has the invoking program name hard-coded into the call statement while the second has it in storage in an identifier. Also in the case of static the invoking program is link edited with the invoked subroutine and in the case of dynamic call we will have a different module for each the main program and a subroutine. 
If we don't use initial or make a cancel when we invoke the statically called subroutine then it will not be found in the default state, dynamically called routine will be forever in the default state. What is Database Descriptor? DBD, short for Database Descriptor, restricts access to the database when objects get altered, created or dropped. How do you find whether any generations exist under a GDG base? By using IDCAMS, we can say whether a GDG has any generations or not. What is use of linkage section? Linkage section is used to accept data from outside the program. Either it's PARM part of JCL or call from any other programs. They pass data into called program through linkage section only. How to get the last record in some file and cluster? And how can you get the KSTs file records into COBOL program? Move high values to the key of the sem file and the issue read next record command. Then give read prev command. This will read the last record. In sem, there is one commandable, using that we can read the last record. If you want to know more about go to IBM Red Books. You will get the solution. By using the herba we can get the max records by using the ckd count key data we will get the last record. Write about the self-referencing constraint. It limits the changes that can be made to the primary key from a foreign key. For this purpose, the foreign key has to define a delete cascade rule. Can we give plus 2 instead of plus 1 while creating a new GDG file? Yes. It will work fine and create a plus 2 generation skipping plus 1 generation. If the current generation is 10, then the new generation created will be 12. Generation 11 will be skipped. How join keys helps in sort. Join keys helps to compare files and to write a file with matched records. How are start and xctl different? Start is used for the beginning of new transactions and then the xctl takes the operations further. Transferring the control to a different application but with an equal transaction ID. What is difference between file aid tool and file aid utility? File aid tool is online tool, application, used for processing files using online screens. File aid utility is used in JCL for processing files in batch. Can you explain referential integrity? It is the rule that states that consistency needs to be conserved between the foreign and primary keys. This means that each foreign key entry needs to have a fitting primary key entry. How to find all duplicate records? By using ice tool we can find that. What is the function of the verb initialize? This verb sets alphanumeric, alphabetic and alphanumeric field items to space and numeric and numeric edited field items to zero. 0. The initialize verb leaves filler items unchanged. Can you define notcat2? Notcat2 is a MVS message that shows if two or more entries of the same catalog exist. If an entry is already there the catalog would send us an error message. The issue can be repaired by uncataloging or deleting the primary data set and we must find that volume which contains the new data set and we must catalog it. The notcat2 function does not process dynamically allocated datasets. If you need to process dynamically allocated datasets, use the notcat2 underscore dino function. How can we describe compsync? Compsync aligns an item to the natural boundaries, it will be synchronized right and left. If we use binary items that are found at the boundaries of words in memory, these ones have a more rapid address resolution. The size of word from mainframe memory is 4 bytes. So every word has to begin from an address which is divisible by 4. When the primary variable is x3 and the next one is s94 comp if the sync clause is not specified, the second variable will begin from byte 3. When sync is specified the beginning address will be 4, this more rapid, even if we may notice a little waste of memory. What difference exists between control area and control interval? A control area is a set of control intervals and it works during allocation. The size of the control area depends on the type of allocation, sill, tracks, and records, and OTS maximum reaches one cylinder. 
The control interval is something like a block for XM files, its size is ranged between 512 bytes and 32 kilobytes, normally 2 or 4 kilobytes. If the control interval is bigger the performance will also increase when it comes to sequential processing. What is the difference between HITM and HAM databases? HITM has a separate index file which is based on the root segment. This file has information regarding the pointer that marks the position of the data. On the other hand, DAM file does not have separate index file, but the key field of every record is passed through a randomizer which places the record to a particular position in the database. What is the need to code commits in batch programs? Commit statements are used to release locks which are required for that unit of work, and then permit a new unit of work. In other words, if commits are not coded in the program and the program has been sent for execution, then while processing, in place of just going back to a few inserts since the nearest commit, the program has to go back to the inserts which were made during the entire run of the program. This extra process takes around twice or thrice the time taken normally. Can you define foreign keys? Foreign keys are properties of a particular table having matching entries to a primary key in some another table. This results in the formation of a relation between the two tables. Can you define an alias? It is a substitute to a synonym. Aliases are developed for distributed environments so as to avoid the use of location qualifier of a view or table. It is not dropped when the table gets deleted. Can you define spoofy? Spoofy is the abbreviated form of SQL processing using file input. It is a menu-driven tool which the developers use to make objects in the database. Can you explain function of dbctl? It is used to access IMS files for six transactions and it is an address space. PSPs, DBDs, IMS files and ACBs are fixed into dbctl for file access. Now if an IMS call is generated by a six program the processing gets transferred to dbctl to be carried and the result is sent as reply. Can you define path? It is a file that makes accessing a file by alternate index possible. The path defines a relation between the base cluster and the X. How to compare two files by using sort? We can use join keys in sort to compare two files based on certain fields. Explain identify whether a call statement is a static or dynamic call. If the program name is directly referred in the call statement then it is considered as static call and if the working storage variable is referred in the call statement then it is considered as dynamic call. Can you explain create an empty file by using sort? We can do so by using below sort fields. Include cond equals none. Sort fields equals copy. What is clicka and why is it needed in any COBOL DB2 program? Sklka is also a system-defined copy book which is required to be used for any COBOL DB2 program. How an empty file to be checked? There are many ways to check whether a file is empty or not and sort slash cell copy slash idcams can be used to do that. While creating a table, by mistake you have given size of one field as 10. But as per requirement size should be 8. What is your next step? If table is empty then we alter this column to any length, but if some data get inserted into the table then we can also decrease the column length up to largest data size available in that particular column. When is inspect verb is used in COBOL? Inspect is used to know number of times a specific character occurs or to replace some portion of data. What is the difference between go back, stop run and exit program in COBOL? Go back returns control to the calling program. Stop run, stops the current work unit and returns control to OS. Exit program, it is used to come out of a program that has been called by another program. Can you explain function of ebgener? Ebgener helps in copying one SAM file to some other source. It is also used to perform simple data reformatting through the supply of control cards via Sysin. What is the difference between INREC and OUTREC? INREC and OUTREC do the same but the only difference is the way reformatting is done. When INREC is used, reformatting of records is done before the sort. 
When outrec is used, reformatting of records is done after the sort. When do you get minus 811 SQL code and how to resolve it? Minus 811 SQL code is returned when a select query returns more than one row. What is next sentence and the continue unique? The next sentence handles the stream of control into the statement that takes the following time frame. Continue unique handles the stream of control of the following articulation after the extension eliminator. How to handle minus 911, deadlock, error in a DB2 program so that the program will never abend. Deadlock timeout error occurs in the following case, if two or more programs acquired exclusive lock on the data, which may be needed for other programs without the data which cannot proceed further. Solution? You can roll back current units of work for one of the programs after preset time interval for deadlocks and terminate that program. What optimum values can we find for free space, C etc? The size of C has to depend on the length of the record and the processing type. The normal value is 4 kilobytes but when the length of the record is bigger than 1 kilobyte we have to pick 6 kilobytes or 8 kilobytes. The normal values for free space are 2020, when many insertions are made it should be bigger. How can we repair a SOC 7 error? The main thing to do is repairing the problematic data, usually the cause for problems with SOC 7 is a numeric item that is uninitialized, and this is the primary concern. Some of the setups give us dumps for runtime abends, this can also be made by invoking OS services or subroutines via the assembly language. The dumps are useful as they give us the ultimate instructions offset where the abend occurred. The output's ref listing of the compilation must be verified for obtaining the line number and the verb of this offset source code. After that the bug can be found in the source code. For capturing the runtime dumps, we should define datasets like for instance sysabout in JCL. When these methods are not working we must find the error source with judgment and display. If the setup has debugging utilities, we should make use of them. Why is free space left in KSDS dataset? While allocating KSDS datasets, free space is declared at regular intervals at the time of initial loading. This is done because this free space is utilized for keeping the data arranged in sequence physically, even though inserted randomly. How are type 1 and type 2 indexes different? Type 2 index is available for DB2v4. In this type, the data pages get locked, but the index pages are not locked. Therefore, type 2 index are faster. Can you define a GDG? GDG, Generation Data Group. For defining it we will write the command define generation data group. In the IDCAM step, a different data set has to be defined and its DCB parameters will be used at the time when new generations are made. This is what we call a model dataset, whose DS name has to be similar to the one of the GDG. How can we increment subscript and index? Subscript colon can be increment or decrement using arithmetic operations. Index colon can be increment or decrement using set verb. What is label record is standard or omitted in file description of data division. Label record is standard means it will use disk files. But tape files can have standard label too. If the label record is omitted it should be the tape file without any beginning and blocks on the tape, like share and comment. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.